in the previous lecture we talked about uh, indexing basics of indexing and uh, we have seen that uh, when size of the index is very small it can be stored on files and files can be stored in the sequence of the indexes so uh, when the size is very limited that works fine but if the index file grows when the data is increased inserted continuously then index file may also be in, to be expanded and if uh, the size of the index file increases enormously then searching for the index itself takes time even if you go for a binary search uh, searching over the index file itself will take a lot of time and effort so are there any methods to minimize this uh, to as next question that comes to our mind and uh, not only that uh, the whenever indexes are growing so periodic reorganization of those files is also required there. So to alleviate these problems, uh, nonlinear uh, type of uh, search is needed, and uh, nonlinear data structures can be used for here, like trees. And uh, the two important uh, index, uh, indexes that can be built based on graph theory, one is uh, ISM index the sequential access methods, and another is a B plus tree. Now we'll see how these two indexes, uh, index structures, are going to help in uh, reducing the processing time of the indexing file itself. Indexed sequential access method is uh, one of the indexing structure which is created uh, statically, uh, the in which it is, which is based on a tree concept of trees in, gra in graph theory. The tree is constructed in such a way that uh, the leaf node contains the data pages and all the non-leaf nodes contains the index pages. Each node can be uh, thought of a disk, uh, disk page where the index is created, the record of the index is created, and the leaf node contains the data, actual data, or links to the data. And uh, as uh, whenever a data is inserted, first it has to start the root node, and it has to trace along the tree to identify the corresponding location and uh, write the corresponding data in the data page or data node rather. And whenever the data node gets filled and still if data is inserted, a overflow page is added at the end of the leaf by uh, kind of connecting it to the leaf node. So that's how the uh, linked list of uh, data pages will be generated as and when the data grows. This is the actual structure of uh, ISAM. And uh, here uh, the entire uh, tree structure can be visualized in three parts. One is the index nodes, data nodes, and overflow pages. While creating the ISAM, first data pages are filled. They are filled in a sequential order and sorted order. Once they are filled, then the indexes are built over that. Suitable indexes, no index nodes are created after filling up the data. So leaf node first is are created and then the index uh, non-leaf nodes are created uh, under the root. And uh, once this is created, the tree structure is ready. If at all there are overflow pages, if, if at all uh, a particular, at a particular place data is not enough in one page, then a linked list of overflow chains are created at those locations. This is how the uh, tree is created well, uh, at, the, at the starting point. And uh, this facilitates the organized way of creating the structure. That is why ISM is suitable for uh, stable data. When it comes to the actual uh, construction of the tree, the design of the node can be uh, flexible. Uh, we can have uh, k number of key values in a node and then k plus one number of pointers. So the structure of the node should be like a pointer, key value, pointer, key value, pointer, key value like that. And uh, the leaf node again uh, may contain the direct record corresponding to the key value that is to be stored there, or a link to the data page can also be there with the corresponding key value. There is a flexibility to do that. And uh, based on this uh, structure, the tracing will start. So uh, if you take a particular key value in a node, the links to the left of that should point to the key values which are less than that and uh, whenever a link is in between two key values that has to point to the nodes which are where key values are lying between those two values that is how 
you can trace the nodes. One of the important features of ISAM is that once the tree is created, the non-leaf nodes are fixed. The indexes, which are in the form of non-leaf nodes, uh, they are fixed. Once for all, they are fixed. And only data is added at the leaf node if it is uh, empty, a clear to add. If it is full, then uh, another uh, data page is added in the form of a linked list, which is known as a overflow chain. So continuously data is added or deleted only at the leaf node part. part. And when it comes to the insertion, so again, it identifies the trace starting from the root node, it traces along the tree and uh, to identify the corresponding uh, leaf node where it is to be read, read, it is to be written. If it wants to delete, when there is a delete operation is required, again it traces through the corresponding leaf page, uh, it, is if it, it can be deleted quickly. If it is a leaf node directly, it can be deleted. And uh, if it is a overflow chain, it is, if it is one of the pages of the overflow chain, that uh, corresponding page will be deleted and the overflow chain is readjusted, the links are readjusted of the linked list of the chain. That is how the delete operations can be performed. And uh, another important uh, issue here is that uh, whenever a transaction wants to write something on a data page, it, it, it locks that page in the exclusive mode and the non-leaf nodes are free for other, uh, are not, they are not locked. That means they are free for other transactions to trace. So this is where the importance of ISM comes into picture that it allows multiple transactions to be operated uh, for the searching uh, because of this kind of uh, locking. And uh, the disadvantage is that if the data grows continuously, the overflow chains may increase and that will uh, degrade the performance of the ISM. So this ISM is suitable for stable data. Uh, even though it is locked, we don't mind, but stable data, once it is stable data, then ISM is the best structure for uh, creating index.